So J. Cole has decided to poke his head back out of the parapet. He's decided to get back out there and display some of his lyrical talents despite him waving the white flag when the Kendrick and Drake beef was happening. Which is funny because if you remember correctly, if I remember correctly, I think it was Kendrick that went after J. Cole because of the verse that he did on the Drake record, right? First person shooter. And then suddenly, you know, Drake fucking steps in for him and stuff and then starts battling Kendrick and you think, okay, cool, you're going to back your boy and immediately waves the white flag after dropping a diss record, which is something I don't think has ever happened in hip hop history. I'm pretty sure it's something that's, it's un unprecedented. And, you know, knowing how machismo and alpha male coded and bad boy gangsterish fucking hip hop is and just the competitive side of it, that was a big red flag. And for me, being like a big J. Cole fan as an artist all around, he's not my favorite, but I'm still a fan of him. And I've always, I've always kind of thought we live in the best of times when it comes to rappers, because I feel like, for instance, like some of my top four rappers off the top of my head, let's just mention like Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole, and let's say Tyler, the creator for me. All four offer you something completely different. And I think we're living in such a great time. So even if you like those top three in the Kendrick, Drake and J. Cole, they offer you something different. So when the battle started, I thought we were going to see something really cool because we'd get to see these different style of rappers battle each other. Obviously, it would have been more so if J. Cole would have stayed, it would have been more 2v1, but it turned out to be 20v Drake the other way. But still, it would have been interesting to see because I don't think, thinking aloud, I don't think we've ever actually seen I honestly don't think we've ever actually seen J. Cole battle, have we? I don't think so. I'm not too sure if I'm incorrect here, but I don't think we've actually seen J. Cole go bar for bar. We obviously, I obviously remember that fucking great um, False Idol song kind of going after um, Ye and stuff, but I don't remember him ever having like a proper back and forth with somebody. And I think he's such a, a I think he's actually a better rapper in that sense. Like, I actually don't really enjoy the storytelling side of thing when it comes to J. Cole. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a little bit boring to be personally for me. But I actually like when he actually like pops his shit. When J. Cole pops his shit and he starts talking really bossy and he starts really like, you know, letting his nuts hang. I think he's really, really, really fucking good. He's kind of dangerous. He's actually the rapper that I think if they if somebody had to take Kendrick off of his porch, off of his pedestal because Kendrick obviously demonstrated against Drake you know he's the best but if somebody had to test him I think J. Cole would be the 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 like the one that would be more likely to test him I still think Kendrick will still win because I think Kendrick has that ability to go really really low and be very surgical he's kind of like Pusha T in that way how he's just more foot like he's I think with the Kendrick and Pusha T comparison I think are correct because I feel like Kendrick and Pusha T have an efficiency with their lines and bars you know if that makes sense. I feel like Kendrick has an ability to like say a lot without using a lot of words, but only saying it in one line. Like he doesn't need a whole verse. He says a line and he's kind of got the point across. And then he keeps emphasizing and doubling down and clarifying what he's basically saying. Like he told us in all those bars, all those records against Drake. Drake is my guy. You know, Drake is my favorite. You know, even still now, blindly, I'll say Drake won. Even though he didn't win, I'm still going to say he won, right? But the thing that he did well against Drake, he described in so many different ways how much he hates the guy like in so many creative ways so yeah whatever um i was just i was really disappointed in j cole i was really disappointed in j cole really disappointed in j cole for how he waved the white flag i thought i really wanted to see him get tested in the battle i wanted to see what he could bring to the battle i wanted to see what kendrick would put out of him i wanted to see what the battle would pull out of him i wanted to see him like you know for lack of a better fucking analogy i wanted to see him in the deep waters and see him fucking struggle and try to get out and all the narratives running but he got too scared he was too much of a p-u-s-s-y and he saw where the battle was going i think the thing with j cole for me personally i think what he saw was that no i think what i was gonna say i think j cole has a problem with perception he wants to control the perception and the narrative around him. He likes being this like nomad, this kind of guy that does his own thing, doesn't need security, you know, doesn't go to industry events, drops when he wants to, isn't really attached to money, da 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 da. But he doesn't want anyone to know about his other, you know, his his social his personal life. But he knew if he would have took part in this battle, his stuff would have come out. The same way how stuff about Drake came out, the same way how stuff about Kendrick came out, his dirt would have come out. And I don't think he's ready for that. He doesn't want anyone to know, you know, 
what makes his cocky hard. He doesn't want some people to know what he brands on the internet. He doesn't want people to know what fucking parlors or brothels or whatever things he, whatever he's into. He doesn't want anyone to know that. So I think that's what he got scared about. He was really scared about somebody finding out, oh shit, he has a fucking penchant for, I don't know, you know, Grenadian girls and he goes to fucking Grenada every summer <laughs> to go and get crazy over there. He didn't want that and I think that's lame. I think that's part of the battle. Part of the battle is knowing that some of your secrets might get exposed. It's also part of the battle that someone might tell lies about you and people might believe it, but that's part of the battle. Part of the battle is being able to just win. Win win with lies, win with twisting the narrative, win with just bars, win with lyrical fucking di destruction. Right, live win with anything, but he didn't do it. He waved the white flag. And to me, personally for me, as a hip hop fan, I just can't look at him the same way. Because there's some people out there that can't look at Drake the same way. Ever since the Pusha T battle. Ever since the fucking Meek Mill re revealing a reference track. There's some people that say Drake can't be regarded as a GOAT rapper, right? Cool. If that's what you think, cool. In the same way, you can't look at Ken Drake all the same way. Because he waved the white flag. He dropped his disc record and then he took it back. You can't, you can't look in the same way. In my personal opinion. But again, I could be wrong. Anyway, let's react to the record itself. Courtesy of J. Cole's Instagram account. It's not actually on DSPs, which is weird. It's not actually on DSPs. It's just on his Instagram. I'm assuming he'll drop. I'm assuming he'll be available on, D on DSPs later. But for now, it's not available. So let's listen to it only directly through his Instagram. So let's check out his Instagram and see what I want. Straight and narrow, minimum wage jobs for the narrow. But still, my mind was on the zeros. I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds. So we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on a payroll. Shit, I wanna shine too. I want dimes too. Ooh. Jealous niggas wanna know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie, I done out crew the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons lock. Mm. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. Mm. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ox. I was Mike in red leather trying to tell them to stop. It's ironic you say that, you see friends turn to devilish ops. You turn into a devilish up against Drake. Let's call a spade a spade. It's one thing waving the white flag, but then I swear the next record he dropped was a song with like The Weeknd and Metro Boomin and Future. Then he dropped a song with fucking ASAP Rocky. Come on, bro. You turn into a devilish up. Yes, you can wave the white flag. You don't want to take part in the beef. You're too scared. You're PSSY in this regard. Cool. But then don't go link up with my ops, bro. I just took you on tour. I just gave you a number one record. Now you're going with my ops to go do records with him. ASAP Rocky and them, man. You know I've got beef with them, man. Come on, J. Cole. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get popped. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. He wanna ball till he fall until the federals knock. And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. You can't relate unless your father was not around. And your mother went out and found someone else and they brought around. And they salaries did Hello, well, this is the second time somebody's mentioned them, that dad being around. Young Philly, I think someone mentioned it about Young Philly, right? Immigrant, came to fuck, left Colombia at four, moved to the UK, no father, as a way to kind of explain allegedly what he may have done untoward to those ladies in Australia, right? The graping allegations. And now we've got J. Cole mentioning that he was, you know, brought up by a single mother. It's like, bruh, you, 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 you bitched out of the battle. That's all we're criticizing you for. You bitched out of the battle. We're disappointed because we all rate you. Nobody does not rate J. Cole. Everybody thinks J. Cole's elite. That's why we all say the, the, they're the top three. Kendrick, J. Cole, and obviously Drake. Depends which order you want to put them in, but those are the top three. We don't say that just because we're being nice. We say that because they are the best. We're disappointed. We wanted you to take part in the battle too, but you waved the white flag and left Drake to kind of fight everyone by himself. You, it's, like, it's, like, it's, almost like, it's almost like you started the beef, right? You started the beef. Kendrick hit you. Drake comes in and jumps in and backs you up. And then you run away. Like, what? How are you running away? 
I come, I came and backed your beef. How are you running and leaving me to swing with everybody now? Now it's 20v1. I'm literally on my own. It's, it's Drake and academics. It's Drake and academics with everybody else. <laughs> come on, man. Combined when they married and brought you out of that poverty, then you moved to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood, you feel awkward about it now. Then your confidence start to drown, but the rapper gave you some positive thoughts, so you jot them down. You jot them down. Ride to it, ride to it. Yo, big up case of Moses. Um, and I hate to take and I hate to borrow academics' take on this, but Jermaine Cole doesn't have killer instinct. Brother, you know what? I think you're right, but I think it's less than that. I just think he's scared, bro. I just think he was honestly that face, remember when he gave the apology on stage? That was the face of somebody really scared. It almost felt like to me, like, I don't know if you guys are, maybe because I'm sure you guys have seen this in school. Like when you, you know when you're in school, like especially when you're really young, maybe like primary school, right? Which is like elementary school. And there's like a bully. And the bully is just a bully because they're really aggressive. They're really loud. They're always in your face. But you've never actually seen them fight. But they're just really aggressive and naughty. They say swear words at ages that you don't think you should be saying it at. And then the one time someone steps to them and back and kind of defends themselves, whether it's you or somebody else, that bully automatically wilts. They're not the same person anymore. It's almost like that's what J. Cole's face looked like when that bully kind of like, oh shit, when someone talks back to them, when someone pushes them back, kicks them back, punches them back, suddenly he was like, oh shit. So he was okay taking part in like the battle in, in theory. He was okay taking part in it. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the GOAT. I'm one of my, there's no one, no two, no three. I'm number one. And then as soon as Kendrick hit him over the head and slapped him with a quick bar, he was like, oh shit, this could get dark. I don't like where this is going. He got really scared. So I don't think it's less about him not having killer instinct. I think it's just him being by nature just very, maybe maybe he's just conflict averse. Maybe he's not a P-U-S-S-Y. Maybe I'm being too rude. Maybe he's not a P-U-S-S-Y and maybe he's just conflict averse. Maybe he just gets really uncomfortable when people are arguing. Like, you know that type of person where it's like, they kind of clam up. It, it sort of gives them anxiety when people are shouting. They kind of want to just leave. The, they don't want to be around it. They don't like chaos. They don't like, you know, violence and noise and shit. They don't like all that stuff. So maybe that's what happened there. But I still think it's not acceptable. You're a rapper. I'm sorry. All of that woke fucking mental health shit leave it for your everyday life when it comes to music and rap and hip-hop stuff you have to fucking let your nuts hang doesn't even matter if you can't rap if kendrick comes after you you have to kind of drop a bar it doesn't matter you gotta drop a record no one gives a fuck if you get smoked so that's what happened with drake even some kendrick fans i've got got to respect drake even though he lost i'm so some kendrick fans respect drake because he went bar for bar record for record with him towards the end maybe you can say you can't respect him because he, he kind of quit himself a little bit he kind of said, I don't want to take part in this anymore. But at least he took part. At least he traded records. Dropped them within a couple of days. Like, come on, man. J. Cole just like, no, 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 no. I'm not taking part. No, 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 no. That's unforgivable for me. Unforgivable. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. 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 Yo, big up, uh, Libro. You're in the wrong. You're, you're in the wrong genre if you don't want to battle. You know what's funny? You say that. I do like the other side of people, though. I do like people like you know, like um, Boosie Badass. You hear what he says? He doesn't believe in battling. He says if you come for him in a in a record, he's just gonna find you in person and beat you up. I also like that other side of things. Like I'm not gonna battle you. I don't believe in that shit. I'm just gonna find you and beat you up. <laughs> that extra violent. Like, just like, fuck all that bars, back and forth records. I'm not in that time. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time To find deliveries good as mine You gotta search primes I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch Trying to be something Hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme I learned long ago you can't please them all And it hurts trying In this game where all you've got is your name Like dirt I'm smirking at niggas Trying to be smirch mine Absurd times with a fake get told it is wise I can see hating both of your eyes But the third's blind So you search lines but you struggle which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds i hate when raps become but like do not disturb signs can i get if i see it's about the dough 
They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But saying it's not the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I Let's relax, man. Honestly, he keeps going on about this stuff. Brother, no one thought it was going to get violent. It got maybe some idiots from either camp were talking crazy. But no one wanted you guys to smoke each other re in real life. We all just wanted to hear you people go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Even me as a Drake fan, I was a little bit disappointed at the end when he kind of said, ah, I'm over it. Like, come on, man, let's not, no, let's go until the end. Yes, by that time he already lost, but I was like, come on, let's just keep going. But still, we got some of the best records from Drake because of that. We got, we got that extra, we got those extra records on, what's the fucking album? We got those extra six records because of the beef, kind of. We also got really good records during the beef. And we've also got great features still, you know what I mean? So as a Drake fan, we've kind of benefited from it. Even though Kendrick won, we benefited because he pushed Drake to put his best out. But come on, man, no one wanted, no one wanted to, there was no violence. No one was egging on violence. No one wanted people to do drive-bys or whatever, or catch bodies. Like, it wasn't that serious, man. Relax, like, allow it. See where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make they No, we didn't. Come they on. see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the bro. No, you did you did dodge the smoke. It's okay, you dodged the smoke. Whatever your reason is for it, we don't give a fuck. Whether you were scared of having your, your secrets revealed, whether you had a dream and God told you not to do it, whether you wanted to keep it, whatever your reasons was, you lost. You're your you're removed from the conversation of being the best. You can't be spoken about in that way ever again. And I honestly think in all of history, in all of hip hop history, J. Cole might be the first person. He's not the first person to say, I don't want to rap, I don't want to battle and just ignore the diss. No, he's the first person to drop a diss record and then say, I don't want to rap, I don't want to do it anymore. Bruv, you already dropped a diss record. Why are you fucking pussing out now? Kendrick didn't, ever, Kendrick didn't even have a chance to reply. Kendrick didn't have a chance to reply yet. Oh, what, my stream's gone. Oh, my stream's gone, my stream's gone, my stream's gone. Am I back yet? Am I back yet? I should be back. Am I back? Am I back? Am I back? Am I back? Can you see me? Oh, mate. J. Cole said, nah. J. Cole said, nah. J. Cole said, nah. Fuck out of here, man. J. Cole said, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, man. Who, who, who waved the white flag? Your stream got a white flag, nigga. J. Cole's like, your stream got a white flag, nigga. Who waved the white flag, nigga? Stop your stream, nigga. Turn your lights off, nigga. What, what stream? What stream, nigga? Copyright block, nigga. No stream, nigga. Ad revenue mine, nigga. Don't care if you're demonetized, nigga. Give me that, nigga. Talk that shit about me, nigga. J. Cole was like, nah. J. Cole was like, nah. All right, cool. Well, anyway, you got the gist of it. Um, let's go back to the second verse. Um, so what they say here? Um, they instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. They sing in stop the violence and tunes in hospital. J, J, I pulled the plug because I've seen where it was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost a battle, dog. I would have lost a bro. I would have gained a foe. And all that for what? Just to attain some mo? Huh. Props from strangers that don't give a that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of fourteen. Jermaine is no king. If that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media, competing for your favorable memes to be considered the best or live the rest, the weight of both things. I understand the first of being first that made me that made them both swing, protecting the legacies so lines got crossed. Perhaps regrettably, my friends went to war. I walked away with all their blood on me. Man, oh, honestly, man. He's just yapping, man. Just pure yapping and coping. Bro, man, you should have just took part in a beef. If you would have lost, you would have lost whatever. Who gives a fuck, man? Your fans as well would have still rocked with you. You would have earned a lot of props. We would have got some good records out of it also. It's not that deep, bro. Honestly, this guy, he, he, he thought it was going to be some Tupac and Biggie thing. It wasn't that deep, bro. Now some will discredit me. Try to wipe away my pedigree. Well, yeah, that's what happens. When you wave the white flag in a battle, that's what happens. You get discredited. You you lose your pedigree. Happens to the best of us. It's what it is. But please find a nigger out there rapping that in that's incredibly. That's the thing. I don't think I don't think J. Cole has dropped a single bad verse since the battle. I don't think he's dropped a single bad verse since the battle. But nobody cares. It doesn't bang the same. Honestly, tell me I'm not tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. 
the verse with Daylight, the verse on the ASAP Rocky song, the verse with the the, the verse recently with on the T Grizzly song, the verse on the Metro Booming and Weekend song. Fire, fire, fire. But it doesn't it's not made any any noise. No one cares. Because you wave the white flag in a battle. That's how mad it is. J. Cole spitting the best he's ever spat, bro. That this album coming out now is probably gonna be fire. But in the end, bad taste in the mouth. Why? Because you fucking wave the white flag. It just is what it is. My dog texts me. I'll share the words he said to me. This is really lame, by the way. This is one of the lamest parts. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Fuck out of here with these good read ass quotes. With these good read quote of the day ass things, bro. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't... Man, fuck out of here, man. I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. Oh, really? Is that what you thought? Hypothetically, is, is, that, is, is that what you got from it, right? Obvious fucking Mr. Mr. Obvious over here. Huh? J. Cole, the obvious one. I um I text him back like guess a gun ain't what I trying to be, my nigga. They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. Oh yeah, now you're now, now it's about what? Now it's the slavery thing. The battle was a fucking slavery thing, right? The masters were trying to put pit you to get pit you against other black men. The slavery. Feel like you're it felt like you're fighting in a fucking you're in a gladiator pit, right? Against your will. No, you're fighting for your freedom like a gladiator. Allow it, bro. It's just a rap battle. They shoot me on my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. They say I'm picking sides. I right, don't you lie on me, my nigga. But you are. You pick sides. We've got the sides here picked. Look, look, that's the pick sides. Seven minute drill was the record, this record against Kendrick. Seven minute drill. Then you went and collabed with future Metro Boomin. Those two people are ops of fucking, what's his face? Kendrick or ops of, of Drake. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't fucking, um, what's his face crooning on this record too, The weekend, Whatever. Then you, then obviously you dropped a song with ASAP Rocky. All these are ops. I'm sorry, you don't earn like that. That's it. You 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 did pick a side. You waved the white flag. You you threw the first punch. You got punched back. Your boy jumped in to back the beef, and then you ran away. <laughs> it's like what? Fuck out of here, man. Then start another war. I Drake, uh, I Drake. You'll always be my nigga. I ain't ashamed to say that you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. The narratives. You, you're the narrative. You created it. You ran. The narratives. You created it. Honestly, narrative is one of the most overused words in the fucking 2020s. I swear to God. Narrative. You created it. You threw the first punch. Your boy jumped in. Then you ran. Oh, it's a narrative. What narrative? You ran. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Remind these folks of why we did it. It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our truths. Reaching your minds and deep in your heart and scheming to find emotions to touch something deep inside of you. Help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love because we ain't promised shit, my nigga. Oh, fuck out of here, man. So thank you for tuning in at the moment. I'll see you guys on the other side. Drake, as much as I love him as a rapper, I can't look at him the same way. It is what it is. Drake is always number one supremo. Even though Kendrick won the battle, I still think Drake won it. It doesn't fucking matter. Sense goes out the window when you're a fan and you're a fan and you're a hardcore fan. Big up everybody tuning in. Like, 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 like down below. And I'll see you motherfuckers again. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Peace, 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 peace. Bye.